This is the solution to question 9, paper 2 of the SQA's Curriculum for Excellence Specimen Higher Exam. We're given a shark's fin, would you believe? The top curved edge has this formula and the bottom curved edge has this formula. And it meets the x-axis at these two points that we're given. We're basically asked just to calculate the shaded area. So let's have a look at the strategy for this question. And what the strategy is going to be, let's just write this down, strategy, is we'll take the larger of the two areas, that's the top curve, and we'll subtract the smaller area. That's the area. Good heavens. X and Y. And there's a smaller area. So a larger area minus smaller area. So let's do the larger area. We'll call this area 1. This is going to be area 2. So area 1 will be given now the two intercepts with the x-axis 0 and 2 pi upon 3. So the area is the integral from 0 to 2 pi upon 3 of this formula here, which is a sine and the angles a linear expression it's a number times x x with a coefficient and then a constant minus 3 pi upon 2 so that's the expression we have to work out when we integrate a sine we get negative cosine and what we call special integrals, we would have to divide by the coefficient of x, 3 quarters. I suppose you could think backwards and try and differentiate this using the chain rule. If you differentiate minus cos, you get sine of this angle, which isn't an x, so you then have to adjust it by multiplying by whatever you get when you differentiate 3 quarters of x minus 3 pi upon 2, which is just 3 quarters, and that would cancel out with this 3 quarters. Anyway, you divide by the coefficient of x in this linear expression. And square brackets between 0 and 2 pi upon 3. So we can work out this, simplifying a wee bit, by multiplying top and bottom by 4. So it's minus 4 lots of cosine of 3 quarters x minus 3 pi upon 2 over, and 4 times the 3 quarters just gives us 3. And it's between 0 and 2 pi upon 3. So we're going to work out the value of this when x is 2 pi upon 3, and subtract the value of this when x equals 0. So first off, we substitute x being 2 pi upon 3. And we divide all of that by 3. And then we substitute x equals 0. And that's all divided by 3. So the first one, 3 quarters times 2 pi upon 3, let's think about this, top and bottom of fraction, divide top by 3 and bottom by 3, top by 2, bottom by 2, and we get pi upon 2. 
So it's negative 4 lots of cosine pi upon 2 minus 3 pi upon 2. Now if we have 1 lot of pi upon 2 minus 3 lots of pi upon 2, we'll get minus 2 lots of pi upon 2. And minus 2 lots of pi upon 2 is just minus pi. So we get cosine of negative pi over 3. Take away a negative, we get plus 4 cos. 3 quarters of 0 is 0, minus 3 pi upon 2. So it's cosine of minus 3 pi upon 2 all over 3. Now we could get a calculator and work this out. It's nicer to try and figure it out using the cosine graph. We'd have to extend it backwards. Uh, there's minus pi, and the cosine has a value of minus 1 at that point. So we've got minus 4 times minus 1 over 3, plus 4 times now, pi up and minus pi up and 2, minus 2 lots of pi up and 2, minus 3 lots of pi up and 2. Cosine of minus 3 pi up and 2 is 0. So that comes to 4 times 0 over 3. So finally, we get positive 4 over 3 plus 0. So it's 4 thirds. So the area 1 is 4 thirds units squared. So this is 4 thirds. So let's tackle the smaller area now. X intercept 0 and pi up and 4. So area 2 is equal to the integral from 0 to pi up and 4 of cosine 2x. When we integrate a cosine, we'll get sine. And it's not x, it's 2x. The coefficient times x is 2, so we have to divide by the 2. So we plug in pi up and 4. And then plug in 0, 2 times 0, and subtract the results. Now a couple of pi up and 4s would be pi up and 2. So we've got sine of pi up and 2 over 2 minus sine of 0 over 2. And we know that the sine of pi up and 2, there it is there, is 1. So this is 1 over 2, and the sine of 0 is 0. So this is 1 over 2. It's a half unit squared for area 2. So the required area, that's up here, which is given by area 1 minus area 2, I better just put that down here, area 1 minus area 2. That was the strategy that we developed at the beginning. And we know area 1, the whole of this area, is 4 thirds. And we know that area 2 is 1 half. So let's talk sixths. This is 8 sixths minus 3 sixths, which gives us 5 sixths units squared.